Hey, Gabe. Um, all right, so uh, let's see how this works out for you. I'll give an explanation for this question and then let me know um, if you want me to do the rest of them that we didn't get to um, yesterday. So uh, here we go. We've got a quadratic x squared minus 34c plus c equals 0. And they want to know... Um, what value C, what's the least possible value of um, C or what turns out to be N um, can be so that there are no solutions to this equation, okay? So, so recall that for a quadratic equation, AX squared plus BX plus C equals zero, we can solve this equation using the quadratic formula. x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And then the a, the b, and the c come from the quadratic equation here. Okay. Um, the a is the coefficient of the x squared term or the number in front of x squared. The b is the coefficient of x, the number in front of x, and the c is the constant. It's the number that uh, is not multiplying a variable. So the way we solve this comes down to what is called the discriminant. And the discriminant is right here under the square root in the quadratic formula, right? And if you notice, right before the square root, there is a plus and a minus, and that's a shortcut, so we don't have to write the plus version of the equation and then the minus version of the equation. And what it tells us is if we can find the square root of whatever ends up being under, this, uh, under the square root, if we can find it, there would be two solutions, because we would add the square root and then divide by two times a, and then we would subtract the square root and divide uh, by two times a giving us two different solutions. Now, sometimes we can't take the square root, okay? Um, and we'll talk about that in just a second, okay? But um, we can uh, take the square root of any positive number. For example, you know, the square root of 49 is equal to seven. We can find that square root. And the square root of 17, I don't know what it is, but if I did take the square root on my calculator, it'd be four point something with a whole bunch of decimals. Um, doesn't matter, it's still a number. I can add it and subtract it and divide by 2a and get two different answers, okay? So we can take the square root of a positive number. We can take the square root of zero. The square root of zero is zero. What we can't do is take the square root of a negative number. That does not exist in the, in the real number system. So if we get a negative under a square root here, then um, we have no solutions to the quadratic, okay? Uh, because we can't take the square root of a negative number and the, and the game is over, right? So we're gonna talk about all three cases uh, because they could have asked any of these um, uh, for any of these cases in this question. Now, remember, what uh, ends up under the square root is found, up, uh, found out by taking b squared minus 4ac. Okay, so let's think about this. So there's three possibilities here. The number under the square root could be positive, it could be negative, or it could be zero. So let's think about that. So if the number of, under the square root is positive, so if, another way to think about that, the number under the square root, again, is represented by b squared minus 4ac. If b squared minus 4ac is positive, which means it's greater than zero, uh, there are two solutions, right? Because we talked about how we can take the square root of a positive number. My tablet is lagging here. Now, 
if b squared minus 4ac equals 0, right? And again, b squared minus 4ac is what um, gives us whatever is under the square root. If it equals 0, adding 0 and subtracting 0 doesn't change the negative b there. So there would only be one solution, right? Because if you add or subtract 0, it doesn't change anything. So that gives us one solution. And then, and this is where this problem comes into play, if b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, that means there are no solutions. Okay? Because we cannot take the square root of a negative number. Okay? Um, so it has no real solutions. Okay? And so c must be greater than what number? All right. So we're going to start off just using this. We need to find out when b squared minus 4ac is less than 0. Well, first we have to recognize here that a is equal to 1. The coefficient of x squared is 1. b is equal to negative 34. And c is equal to c. That's convenient. They could have put a k, an l, something else there but it's a C, so that's excellent news. Okay, so we plug those guys in. So, negative 34 squared minus 4 times 1 for A times C has to be less than 0. Okay, so if I take negative 34 and I square it, what do I get? Uh, I get 1156 minus 4AC is less than 0. Not a, sorry. 4 times 1, we already replaced uh, 1 for a. 4 times 1 times c is 4c. So I'm going to subtract 1156 minus 1156. So now 4c or negative 4c is that less than a neg uh, negative 1156. And if we divide both sides by negative 4, then I believe we get 289. That's correct. So C must be less than 289. And there we go. What number must C be less than? Um, and that would be 289. Or C must be, it says C must be greater than N, right? Oops, not less than. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. I divided by a negative number, right? And with inequalities, remember, when you divide by a negative number, you flip the inequality, okay? So the correct answer is C must be greater than N, which is um, 289. So our final answer is 289. All right. Hope that helped.